Whoa, how'd you guys get inside? Welcome to the Multimedia Eatery, the multitasking cooking show where I make a quick, easy dish while simultaneously working on a painting based on a random prompt. Today, the dish we're going to be making is vegetarian nachos. It's so easy, you won't even have to get out of bed. You will, unless you have some sort of like weird contraption set up where you're like laying there and you can like just cook nachos from your bed. Let's get started. What prompt are we going to be doing today? It is shiny gadgets. That's fun. 20 minutes on the clock. Give myself enough time. We're good. Let's get started. First, we need the tray to cook the nachos on top of. That's a preposition that is rarely used. We have this baking sheet thing. We also need tinfoil to keep this dish more clean and to create more waste products in the environment. And all you alien conspiracy theorists out there also know that another great use for tinfoil is to make a little hat so that you get like a little antenna so that it catches all the alien frequencies into your brain and if you're lucky they'll take over your body Crimp the edges. I like to make my own tortilla chips from scratch but in the interest of time we're just gonna skip to the part where they're already cooked and baked and cut and everything's done. And there you go, delicious salty tortilla chips ready to eat. But before we really start cooking, we want to start on this art prompt. It's called Shiny Gadget, so we're going to do some sort of like Swiss Army gadget here. So we'll start with like the base of the gadget, which is usually like this red lady's finger shaped thing. The first tool I want on here is just a skeleton key. So it's a key that opens everything, every single lock in the entire world, so you can get to all the skeletons hidden in the closets and the girls' locker room. Back to this. Now we also need the main the main protein is going to be beans. To open up a can of organic black beans, we need a Swiss Army tool of our own, a classic can opener. Remember when I didn't have one of these? So forget the olives then. Thankfully it works pretty well. You just punch it. Nope. You just punch it. And you just punch it in there. You just punch. 16 minutes left. We gotta do it. We just punch. Nope. You just punch it. You just punch it in there. There we go. And then you just turn the crank like this. Like a little wind up toy. It's wound up. Will it go? Oh, it, it hid from me. And next, I like to drain the beans, which is both part of the recipe and a euphemism. Ooh, listen to that splatter sound. Ooh, you like that? I don't either. Now some people like to use this bean juice as bean juice to drink. Okay, then we're just gonna sprinkle the black beans over the nachos. We're just doing this kind of quickly and lazily here. If you want to do like good nachos, then you're in the wrong place. No, I'm just kidding. These actually will be very tasty. So the next item on our shiny gadget, our Swiss Army device that I would love to have personally is a sonic wave transmitter that repels children. <laughs> so it's like this little thing that goes Bew! and it like sends frequencies into the air that only children can hear and they go away. They leave me alone. They don't ask me if I want to look at their collection of Hatchimals. Next up for the nachos is corn. Now I live in Nebraska, the corn capital of the world. You could just walk down to the farmer's market and pick up a fresh ear of corn whenever you want. But I don't want to. And again, we gotta pop that. Hey, I got it on one try. Ow, I hurt my finger. I got it on one try, but at what cost? And one of the best things to do with all this corn water that you have is dump it down the drain, because gross. Just sprinkle that over your nachos. That's the easiest thing about this recipe, is that most of it's just sprinkling. What else would I like to have on this Swiss Army device? Um, a very complicated espresso machine that just makes me delicious coffee whenever I want. I don't have any brown with me, so I'll just use this bean juice that drip. That's the coffee just literally pouring out. One of the best things in the world is homemade salsa, just like your mom used to make. Get it? Homemade? <laughs> just kidding. Your mom is a very nice person. What we're gonna use, I put it on the floor. There we go. Now, children aren't the only annoying things in the world, which is why another tool on my Swiss Army knife is a little poison dart shooter thing that just goes pew and shoots a poison dart out to deter small talk. So basically somebody comes up to you and starts telling you that it's crazy that last week it was 60 and now it's 75. Isn't that nuts? The weather here is so unpredictable. <laughs> I found the most important ingredient for nachos is the cheese. What do you call a cheese that isn't yours? All cheese. That cheese belongs to the cow that made it. You're a thief and humans are a parasite on the planet. But we came up with nachos, so we can't be all bad. So good. Now another great thing to have on your keychain is some mace. I don't know why it's like one of those Windex bottles, but that's what happens, and it just sprays in their face. And there's a chemical in that mace that makes people rethink their life. Just like, give me all your money. Psst. Oh, oh god, my eyes. I should go back to school for English literature. Now we want to put the nachos in the broiler. The cheese gets all melty and integrates everything, because cheese brings everything and everyone together except vegans and lactose intolerant people. But who needs them, right? Who needs a lactose intolerant vegan named Sarah who won't return my calls? Final item for my shiny gadget Swiss Army tool that's extremely useful is, it's gonna blow your mind, a knife. Knives are useful when you need to do knife things. Five minutes left. I gave myself a little bit more time. Didn't need it. So let's do one more gadget item here. What's something fun that's on a keychain? Laser pointer? Except for it's not really a laser pointer so much as a laser gun. <laughs> it just shoots 
real lasers. So there you go, it's basically just a set of weapons and coffee maker. Who is app. Don't burn yourself. Delicious vegetarian nachos and a shiny gadget that does everything that you could ever want if you're me. I forgot the olives and I dropped one. There you go, that's how you do delicious. Ow! Da -da 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 -da. I burned myself. Oh man. I'll see you next time. Remember, if you got a machine that does all that stuff, you might be a supervillain, so.